Good Saturday evening, everyone. I hope your day's been off to a great start. Uh, you know, weather-wise, it's not been too bad. It started off pretty well, and then we had some rain move through the area. Now we've got some cloudy skies out there, and those clouds will continue to thicken up overnight tonight. We also could see a little bit of patchy fog out there developing. So clouds and fog tonight. We are going to see a stormy Sunday. It looks like we're going to have to deal with some heavy rain and even some strong thunderstorms from time to time and it's going to be unsettled actually through Tuesday as a stalled front moves into the area and just kind of sets here as waves of rain develop on it. Right now temperatures are in the 70s along the coast. So you get back into the PD 75 there in Florence up along the border belt a little bit warmer. You're seeing a little bit more sunshine this afternoon. So 77 in Shira and Laurenburg. So overall it's pretty mild out there and there's that front that uh, that line of rain that moved off the area you can start to see some clearing back over uh, the part, central part of South Carolina, but we got some clouds moving back in and that's going to transform into some a little bit of patchy fog as well. Here's future cast. We should see those clear skies, maybe a passing shower along our border belt communities. But here's our next story. This is going to be the rainfall that moves into the area tomorrow. It could bring along a few, <clears throat> excuse me, a few strong storms. Here's a look at our fog future cast. You can see just patches of fog. King Street, you drop down to about a mile visibility. So does uh, Hartsville there. So I don't expect widespread dense fog, but some patchy fog, definitely a possibility tomorrow morning. So here's 9 a.m. The bulk of the rain moving through the uh, Midlands. As we get to 11 a.m., this is when the rain starts to move into the PD. And we could see some embedded stronger storms with this line. As it moves through the PD, by 3 p.m., you can see a lot of us seeing rain, thunderstorms into the area. And eventually, by 6 p.m., a lot of that rain is focused along the coast. Again, some heavy rain possible with these storms. Also, damage and wind gusts, large hail. And the tornado threat is fairly low, but we can't rule that out. So the Storm Prediction Center has all of our area under a level 2 risk of severe weather for tomorrow. That means that we could see some damaging winds out there, about a 15% chance of seeing damaging winds and large hail. That's my two primary concerns right now would be any damage in wind gusts and large hail. Our tornado outlook is fairly low. We can't rule it out, but I don't think that's the primary concern. I think it's going to be damage in wind and hail. And here's why. We don't have a ton of instability to work with. As we go throughout the afternoon, our instability is staying on the lower scale, so we don't have that fuel to work with to really get those supercell thunderstorms to develop. So that's why we have that level two of risk, but damage and wind and large hail definitely the greatest concern. The tornado threat is low. Timing will be between 12 noon and 4 p.m. for the PD, and then the Grand Strand will be 4 to 8 p.m. tomorrow. So that is the timing of those storms. Tonight, we're going to be falling through the 70s under partly cloudy skies. Again, we could see some patchy fog develop. Our lows will be in the 60s, so we're going to have a lot of warmth and humidity around. That'll help aid those storms, but we just don't have all of the instability we need. Tomorrow, temperatures will be in the 70s across the area. Here's a look at your marine forecast. Small craft advisory up for the area. And here's your seven-day forecast, that unsettled period through the first part of the week. Then after that, it's clear selling starting Wednesday. We're 60, but we're going to be right back into the 70s and 80s by the end of the seven-day forecast. So umbrellas tonight and tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow is going to be kind of one of those days. We're going to see a lot of rain and storms across the air. Probably the best day to find something to do inside. <laughs> Stay tuned with us. You know, if there's any warnings or anything, we'll be here to keep you up to date. Perfect.